Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Smash here with another Watcher of Realms video. It is 1051, Saturday, January the 13th, and we are doing faction trials this morning. The reason why you want to do faction trials is right here, the Pantheon. When you beat your faction trial stages every day, you get insignias. Those insignias boost your Pantheon level. Those levels give you stat bonuses. Those stat bonuses are given to every single hero in your roster in all content of the game. It is a massive boost for your account. So do your faction trial stages every day. Progress in them as fast as possible. If you're coming from Raid Shadow Legends, this is like uh, you know the stats you got for farming arena medals. Okay, this is a big deal. So do it. I have. Uh, guides out on most of them at this point. I will have all of them done in the next couple days. So if you're struggling on any faction trial stage, check out my video. I do a step-by-step -step walkthrough. I explain to you how I passed them, some of the wrinkles I had to iron out, some problems I came up against, how I solved them, different champs you can use. It's a one-stop shop. And if you're still struggling, leave me a comment and I will help you clear that content, okay? Let's go to faction trials. Nightmare. Nightmare is hard. Nightmare and Infernal are the two hardest, for sure. To beat this one uh, and unlock Power of Dominance, you need to clear the stage with the Soul Core intact, and you need to deploy eight fighters. The cool thing here is that you don't have to do that all in one run. I wasn't able to when I cleared it for the first time. I beat it once, deploying eight fighters, and one or two monsters snuck through, and it wasn't a perfect run. And then I beat it a second time without eight fighters, with killing everything, so... Combined, I was able to do all three of those requirements and unlock power of dominance. You do not have to do it all in one run. I didn't do it. So if you're unable to, don't. Come up with two teams instead of one. I'm going to walk you through with one team today. And this is the one. Your two non-fighters are going to be Novarus and Baron. Baron's going to tank. Novarus is there for magic damage. I didn't have Greed at the time. Greed is a better option. Um, and now that he's a free login champ, if you've got him, use him instead, okay? But there's tons of fighters in Nightmare, so there are some, there's, there's options here. How I started, we get Gluttony down. Gluttony's there as a meat shield, okay? He's also there to get some meat himself, because when he ults, he literally just eats this guy. So, that's fun. Let's put Valeria down. She is going to ult and then explode and take out this second wave on the bottom row. Right about now. I'll try to remember, this one was really difficult with timings, understanding exactly, let's slow it down so I don't miss anything talking, um, playing with the timings, trying to figure out exactly when to ult with people, um, let's pull both of them so that I get more s energy back, let's put Baron up so that he can start building his ult, playing with the timings for when you ult and when you despawn and when you respawn, it was really tricky for me. See, Novice is getting that magic damage on that middle guy. Next down, let's slow it down. I want Volca. Volca uh, does surprising damage uh, when you kit her out for DPS, but she's there to help Baron tank and heal. So this is how we're starting. Let's get... Gluttony down for round two. Get Baron's ult up. I don't think he started unyielding. There we go. Now he's going to start unyielding, and I don't... Valeria down for the big guy in the middle. There we go. Now, he's unyielding, his passive took effect. I don't want to use his ult until that is over to give me as much time as possible. It just expired, so let's do it now. That'll give him some more time. There we go, got it done. Okay, so uh, I'm going to despawn him now because that unyielding passive is once works once per deployment, not once per match, once per round, okay? So... Let's use Valeria. Now let's start bringing down our support here. Uh, let's have him there. Because Gluttony is not a true tank, he gets eaten alive here. So I need lots of support 
without using uh, Baron because I need Baron up top. So let's slow it down. Let's hold on to Salazar's ult for the big guys in the back. Uh, I've got some XP. So he's, Gluttony's definitely going to die. I'm going to need to place Wrath there to keep him in the same spot so that Salazar and Deimos can still keep doing their job. Doesn't look like I even needed Abomination there. Abomination is there uh, for backup, right, in case I can't do it with uh, I probably needed to save him uh, to support Baron, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's start pulling everyone I don't need, just in case. Let's ult. Valeria's ult I'm going to hold on to so that she can explode on this last wave coming up the middle here. About now-ish. Might have been a little early. We'll see. Yep, there they come. All right, Baron, his unyielding popped. So once that is over, I'll use his, there we go, use that. And then Valeria exploded. If she can't finish him off, we got Arrogance here. And then what happened there? Um, Navras, I saved his ult the first time I did this. I saved his ult because that monster made it past arrogance, and I had to use Navras's ult at the last second to finish finish off that monster in the middle. Okay, so that's the run. Let me know if you're still struggling with something. Uh, this one's tough. You got to play with the timings. You really have to understand your champion's ults. Um, let me know if I can help you in any way. And that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for your time. If you like this, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I will see you in the next one.